Hey guys in the chat room, how are you? We have uh, Digital Phil in the YouTube chat room right now. No one's joined you in the YouTube chat room? What's up with that? Say hi, he wants you to acknowledge him. Hey Digital Phil. And he wants to know why you're not wearing a tux. Because I'm like a boss. Okay. Uh, and we have everyone else in the Justin chat room at the moment, and I think we're... Getting... That's a little unbalanced. I know. <laughs> like one but guy. But that's okay. Oh, oh there. Oh, Talina's there in the uh, YouTube. That's right. We've got uh, Jeff, JT Webman, uh, over on Justin, Monty, uh, Bruce, Maxes, Trace, Ample Ben, Helix. R. Bigelow. Wait, Bigelow? What's Isn't up that there? Like... What's up there, Gord? Hey, did we get the transitions working? You are awesome, Mark. Really? You made magical new transitions? No, I'm not Look, really awesome. Look, the transparent. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hey, wow. Hey, I was, I was showing through them. That's Sorry. awesome. See the new transitions, so, guys? So, guys, we've been playing with the new transitions, mic making audio, them transparent. Mic audio is very low. Do we sound kind of lower? Do we sound not very loud to you guys? I know that we're we're still uh, yeah we're still setting up so don't yeah we're uh, setting up the guys are talking back now. there. They said that they said our audio is very low. Oh, I'm oh. I sound muffled. I you always oh. sound perfectly clear to everybody. No. Do I need to speak up and? The music just muffled? blasted me. Ooh, sorry. So the music is too loud and the sound and the and the voices are too too quiet. Muffled and music sound loud. F Neuron. Hello from Montreal. Where? Hello. I'm, I'm looking over at uh, YouTube chat room. Hello in Montreal. Hello. Oh, uh, we envy your weather so bad right now. What is it like over there? I it's haven't been paying attention. Montreal, it's we awesome. Didn't get a cover up. Montreal do we need is to do awesome. something about this? Oh. I looked. I don't we don't have a thing. But the you know only other funny? option is to put like a plant. Or one of these gadgets in front of you it. You know what would be funny? A giant X for uh, made of gaffer tape. Just to make fun of ourselves? That would be awesome. So, guys, because we're recording this for play on for, TV. For, you better tell people who okay. didn't, didn't, didn't catch this previously. So, if you haven't caught the news previously, Should we are actually... Should I go get some gaffer actually, tape, by yes, the way? Yeah, okay. Um, we are actually moving the show to TV, to cable television. Okay. I can't Can disclose... Hold on. I'll tell you the story in a sec. Tell, wait, oh, tell them oh, we're coming we're back. we're going to stop the stream for just a second. We'll be right, right back. Promise. They're see-through. It doesn't do any good. We, we, we need a leather one. We could put a piece of paper and then... Oh, this is going to be not see-through. Don't you worry. X. It's going to be funny. Are we back up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Um, so, as I was saying, uh, for those of you who haven't caught it, this is just the pre-show. We have not started the show. John hasn't even joined me. He's off doing something else. Um, but we um, are moving the show to cable television. That doesn't mean we're going to stop streaming it live. We're going to be doing it both live to, to you guys, as always, as well as on TV, though. So here's the trick. There are lots of uh, different things that we have to do in order to prepare for that. And so right now, we're basically recording it then, you know, now live for you guys. And, and then it'll go, it'll be uh, sent over to them. Eventually, hopefully, we'll be live to both cable TV and the internet at the very same time. And so one of the things that we have to do, as you know, you've, you've watched several movies, you've watched TV shows where they cover up the freaking Apple logo, right? Well, we have to do that too, and we feel so silly doing it. We feel like... I don't like it. Awesome. I, I, I just make fun of people for doing it on TV, and now we're doing it. I so. think it's awesome. How do you like my ex? <laughs> Can you see it? I think it's awesome. <gasps> no! What? You need to make it G. B. I am not going to sit here and cut gaffer tape You're in, the an artist. in the shape Come of a on. G and a B, okay? I thought that was brilliant. No, um, we cannot, Bruce, we cannot tell you what cable provider it is just yet. That is not public knowledge, but uh, we, will, we will let you know as soon as possible. It's on all the major networks. What? It's on direct time, Verizon. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, right. Oh. TNT dish. So uh, we're we're exciting. No, yes, exactly, exactly, Matthew. We are not moving the show. We are simul simul broadcasting it. Simulcasting. I think our X's are awesome. Okay. They're, they're the, they're the, That's uh, hilarious. They're that... like very noticeable, which is what I don't like. I think it's funny. We are going to get um, cases for them, but all, the only cases that we have at the moment are see-through cases, so it doesn't do as much good. Yeah, if anybody Yeah, we knows... could have some Livid Lobster decals made. Yeah, hide it behind there. So Bruce, if you if you didn't catch it, the reason that we X'd the the Apple logos is because you have to do that on TV. Well, you have you to cover them up. So uh, otherwise, you have to cover them up. Well, I could have just put a little round black thing on it, but I thought it was funnier to put a big X. I don't like it. It's like a giant boo boo on the Apple. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. You should have you shouldn't have wasted all those. Uh, those band-aids that you get, we could have just put a bunch of band-aids on them. You people don't know what you're talking about. He gets shots every week for his allergies, and he gets these uh, Garfield um, Garfield band-aids and Mickey Mouse band-aids. I like that he gets shots because every time he walks in the office after doing so, I get to see what kind of kid he is today. Essentially, I get Snoopy. I get Snoopy too. Yeah, I get all kinds of ban uh, band aids. I'm eating Altoids now. These are so good, they're addictive. You know what I like, they're guys? The, they're cinnamon ones. These are the Altoid Smalls. Have you guys had these? There's, yeah. there's the normal Altoids that are in the big can. I don't really like those, but these are the little tiny Altoids, and they're delicious. They're very good. Um, to answer digital film, what site was to get stickers from? There's um, that one website. Uh, get glue. <laughs> you talking about? You're oh talking about geek well, maybe stickers? that's what he's talking which, about. Which stickers are you talking about? Digital film. Because you can get stickers to cover your MacBook. I thought that's what you were talking about. Maybe you're talking about Get Glue, where oh. you can check in to Geek Beat Live. By the way, go check in to Geek Beat Live says, on yes, Get Glue. Yes, Geek Beat stickers. Yeah. Everybody there. If you're out there watching, go check in on uh, Git Glue that you're watching right now. And uh, that's how you earn the little stickers. You can get Does it look funny for me to have it back like this so I can actually read it? Because then yours is... Here, okay. I'll do mine like that too. Thank you. Just to make you feel good. I appreciate that. So that it's aesthetically pleasing for you. I appreciate that. Anyway, as Because I was you saying, already messed up the aesthetics here. I know. As I was saying, I never liked that Apple thing on the front. As I was saying... If you go to Get Glue and you check in, um, then you can earn a sticker for Geek Beat. But you also, if you, you can get other stickers, like if you, what do you do on Get Glue, Mark? Do you like Cali or do you? Check into the show. Check into the show. No, but you check into the show, but then like for Cali, you have to. You can add me. You have to. You get stickers that way. Yeah, you can. Oh, you don't get stickers just by adding my profile? Oh, okay. No. Oh. But you get the satisfaction of knowing. <laughs> He's just... Mark says you get the satisfaction of knowing that you like Callie Lewis on Get Glue if you like her. And me too. And John too. If you go on to Geek Blue Geek If you go on to Geek what Blue What was that? Geek Blue? If you go on to Get Glue, where did I get Geek Blue? <laughs> it's Geek from Beat and Get Glue together. Ge Geek Blue. If you go on to Geek there Blue There is a Callie sticker, Zig. Yeah, there is a Callie sticker, yeah. but I guess you don't earn that from saying that you mm. like Callie on there. But, but you, you get it from checking into Geek Beat TV, not Geek Beat Live. Oh, and Geek Beat Live? Oh, there are two Cali stickers. I don't know if it's true, but somebody told me that if you like the if you like John P on Get Glue, it enters you to win like a million dollars. I don't know. I, that's what I heard. Yeah. Only I heard that. Yeah, you should do that. Just in case. <laughs> Go do it. Is that good enough? Max says, says Geek Blue. Sounds like an interesting show. Geek Blue. Is that just like a bunch of depressed geeks? Man, I couldn't get my computer working well, today. It's such a bummer. Isn't going blue like going dirty? Like, isn't that what that term is? Blue? Yes. Yeah, like huh? in, in comedy? What are you talking about? Blue, 
going blue. Oh, really? Is that what it is? That what it is? I can't believe I know that and he doesn't. Does How that is mean, that even possible? I don't know. Does that mean that I can working just, blue, Johnny's? Yes. Okay. Johnny's. Does that mean I can start uh, cur cursing? No. Now? Can I start? cursing No, because now? this is not geek geek blue. Maybe it is. That's true. That's true. I don't have to be. This is not geek blue. Can I just be dirty? No. Oh man. You can not bathe, but then I won't co-host the show with you. So, oh. we are about to get started, guys. Yeah, we really are. Right now we're goofing off. Kevin Brown is demanding a hangout. This is totally a pre-show. Okay, guys. And I'll we will have a little bit of an after show. Okay, I'll start a hangout. But you guys can't distract me on the hangout. Ben, I have not watched Blade Runner yet. What is... Good Lord, woman. I haven't watched much. Digital Phil wants to know if there's any robots this week. Oh, let me tell you. There are more robot show, more robot segments today than we've had in many weeks. You combined. guys are going to be so happy and I need to take this off my wrist. But you know what that the problem is? That doesn't look good on camera. Do now they, I have to think about what looks good on camera and what doesn't. Do any robots kill people today? No. Yeah, it's a yes or no question. I was thinking through my robots, no. That is such false advertising. Because I I shared with you all the video of the robot that just mutilates. I people. told you to put it in there if you wanted. I couldn't actually see the video. You couldn't see the video. Well, unfortunately, I told the video is like twelve minutes long, so we can't really we can't really do that. Okay, I'm starting to hang out. It says check my Janice, hair. Janice Q7 says he sure hasn't. Says she, I guess, um, hasn't watched it either, start to end. But it's not because I didn't want to. I thought he was adorable and I was totally willing to watch. Yeah, I only he's got adorable. 40 seconds loaded. Yeah. And then it wouldn't work. Yeah, he's adorable. Oh, one random at, username. Come on, you did not beat me at Angry Birds. He's adorable <sighs> at first. He's adorable no matter what. Really? Okay. <laughs> when you see the end of it, we'll see if you think that for sure. <laughs> I can't okay. believe Matthew one just random joined. username. Kevin Brown I love joined. Shh. <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking to the folks in the Google Hangout. And I'm talking to the guys on the YouTube and Justin chat rooms. Okay. Um, when will we start saying interesting stuff? We never say interesting stuff, so we won't. We're in the pre-show. We Do haven't even started the show yet. We're just goofing off right now. Hey guys in the chat in the uh, Google in the Google Hangout. Um, I turned it on even though I said I wasn't going to, but I did anyway, and uh, mainly because, you know, you <laughs> shamed me into it. It was actually Kevin's fault. Pure pressure works miracles. That's right, pure pressure works. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Are my buttons... Are my buttons oops, reflected sorry, or let something? Me, uh, let me, uh, I'll mute the mic here. Uh, oops, wait. if I mute the mic, you guys can't hear me. So uh, that's a problem, but we get feedback. So I'm, I'm going to mute the mic on the Google chat or Google Hangout. You can't mute like the out, the input? Well, I mean the output? If I mute my mic and stuff like that, they can still actually leave it unmuted and talk to each other, but I just can't hear them if I turn down the volume and mute the mic. Okay. But, but they can also hear what we're hearing. Hey, when you guys are watching on the Google uh, Hangout and you're also watching... The stream is is it delayed? Which one is which one comes before the other one? Did you unmute so you can hear no, them? The, it's unmuted. Anyone? It comes like three or four set for the uh, for the live stream. Oh, okay, gotcha. So the the so it is a three or four second delay or whatever. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and mute the mic. I think that everybody's tired of the chit chat. We're gonna we're gonna try. We're going to try and do this show now. And everyone, keep in mind that uh, what we're about to do is uh, being recorded for cable TV. So it'll air on cable TV. So we will have some commercial breaks. Uh, but we're going to, I think this week we are going to go into the commercial break and come right back out of it. So there won't be a long, correct? Okay, so That's there won't be a long break um, unless we need to discuss stuff in between. But you'll still continue to hear us and everything. 
How, by the way, how many of you guys saw last Friday when we tried to do this for the first time? And it, I, was, it was kind of a disaster, but I mean, it worked. You guys won't actually see the commercials. Don't take that the, the wrong way. Like, we're just going to cut to commercial break, come right back, so there won't be actually any commercials. Yeah, we're basically going to say, hey, and up next is blah, 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 blah but first blah. here's a commercial break. Yeah. And then we'll, like, act like there's a commercial, but we'll there won't really be one. We'll stop talking for a second. And then we'll be like, hey, welcome back from the commercial. That's kind of how we'll do it. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. hopefully this will go... Uh... Ben says he can do without I'm sorry? commercials. No. No. We're no ads today. No ads today. Okay. You're welcome, our Bigelow. All right. Are we going to try this? Whenever Dave's ready. Oh, I guess I ought to get my run sheet up. That would be good. See, I get distracted. I'm easily distracted. Yes, you are. Look at that shiny thing over there. <laughs> Ooh, both of my both of my um, intro uh, snippets have to do with cars. Yeah. I do love me some cars. <clears throat> the czar says it's okay. They love uh, they love me anyway. That is so nice. So we need to. Somebody came in the front door. We need to put. We need to be putting signs out there. Hey, did you guys hear? Just a minute ago, somebody came in and came went in and out our front door. Did you Did you hear that door open and close? Sorry if you guys nope, are hearing me nope, swallow. Okay. Nope, they didn't. Okay, good. Yep, somebody did. Somebody did. <laughs> Heard two sneezes? John Neese heard two sneezes. I didn't even hear sneezes. Tell, tell Neese that was me. Oh, it was Dave Curley. That was Dave Curley. And I'll sneeze on his show tonight if you don't watch it. He's going to sneeze on your show tonight if you don't watch it. We need a big recording sign. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm sorry, Ben. I was really thirsty. I've been parched lately. Like, I am too because I have, I've been drinking nothing but water. I'm, I've been very good. I've so been you're a good parched boy. because you're drinking water and not yes. Coke? Yes. You know what? Have you guys noticed that if you try and eliminate <sighs> Cokes and things like that from your diet, it actually makes you more thirsty? Like if I drink a Coke, I don't know why because Coke has caffeine in it, which is a diuretic, so it should make you more thirsty. But for some reason, when I drink a Coke, after I drink a Coke, I feel more satisfied than when I drink the equivalent amount of water. I do um, not understand it's that. It's temporary. The wow, JT Webman is on a t day 26 of a juice only, you no know what? food fast. You know what, Jeff? And I gotta say, you're looking good. Wow. I, I noticed the difference. I've seen befores and afters, and it's it's working for you. You're damn good sexy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at, guys? They're getting some uh, water for one of the. Uh, no, that's the boxes. Okay. Okay, we're 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 almost here. What is y y UK stew? Oh, oh, that's a person. Sorry, <laughs> UK stew. It's what? for the recording. Ken's leaving. Okay, why the black crosses yeah, over the Apple logo? Yes. Okay. We will, okay. We will talk about that too in a minute when we get started. We're gonna address the black crosses on the uh, laptops when we do the lot. When we can I make fun of it? You may. Okay. You can make fun of it. Because I have nothing to say if, if I can't make fun of it. But you can't say what the name of our actual uh, uh, laptops is. This is an HP. <laughs> <laughs> a web OS of HP. <laughs> you saw that. They killed it, right? Mm. Does that have, like, those, um, like, those, those cling-like decals? You know, like, they've got, like, that snow white, like, holding the apple. Yeah. Like, you know, no. It, it, it shouldn't. No, yeah, it still yeah, has the logo. It's the logo. And he talked about defacing the logo. And we can't do yeah, that. Yeah, we can't do that. Because then we'll enter suit. Then they'll sue oh, us okay. if we do something. <laughs> you're, like, you're like assaulting their trade dress. Or yeah, because what yeah. I said was, I said I'd do something like make put a cro skull and crossbones on it or something like that. And uh, then the attorney said, no, that would not be good. So what are those clings like that just cover the whole back of them? Well, I think what we're going to just do is get, uh, you know, the leather cases. I just had an idea. I just, I haven't had a chance to get them. Oh, wait, I had an idea. What? What if our friend Bruce, the sign guy, were to cut out Dexter, but cut him out, oh, we covered it up, cut him out, like, it's a solid, let's say it's a solid black thing, okay, but he cuts out the shape of Dexter yeah. in such a way 
that it fits in where the glowing apple part would be, then we stick it over it. So actually what you see is a glowing Dexter. That would be awesome. That would be cool. I would I would go for that. Would you go for that? What I color would, would the, the round circle be around it? Red? It would need to be orange. orange. It would need to be the color of our logo. It would be our logo colors. Yeah, because but, remember no, that Dexter has the, the orange thing on the bop block oh that he does but so it would have to be that color not round so or we'd anything. have to have dexter cut we'd have to have multi layers it'd have to be orange with blue and then he's glowing through white yeah, yeah. that would be awesome that would be what do you guys think that would be cool yeah. if it's left <laughs> It, yes, for those of you who don't know the name of our logo, this is Dexter. We just call him Dexter. Yeah. Some people uh, were Bruce, confused. Bruce, is, is he a registered trademark? <laughs> yes. Actually, he's not technically registered yet, but we are going to register him because we, we're going to register the whole logo um, the way it is so that, you know, nobody messes with it. But we should be covered under international copyright law even without the uh, trademarking in place. So we'll, we will do both, though. But you know what trademarking costs like? Uh, He's ready. Tra trademark, <laughs> trademarking costs about $10,000. To get yep. one trademark, it's about $10,000. Yep. That's okay, guys. It, it is actually named after Dexter the TV show because I love Dexter the TV show. Yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Let's do this thing. That's yes, right. exactly. <laughs> oh, guess what? I have 37 minutes of battery on my computer. <laughs> I'll be right back. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, we're not going to do this thing just yet. Uh, hang tight while he gets some power. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, now we can probably make it through a show here. All right. Are you ready, John? Uh, I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Are you guys ready in the chat room? Okay, um, John has moved. Uh, I didn't move, I Good swear. Job. Good job, John. Good job. Is this, am I back where I should be? Mark, can you, uh, can you take camera three and hand it over to the left just a little bit, please, sir? Sure. Actually, I should be saying this into your mic, shouldn't I? That would be awesome. Oh, you, have a, you have a mic to communicate with Mark now across the room? You know what we need, folks? We need IFBs. Yes. Those are these little, these little, yes, those are those little things that people wear in their ear, and uh, that way the people can talk to them, and I am, I have, I have actually really kind of held off the team from sticking one of those things in my ear. You don't have to. I, if you let you know, if you have let me, because I'm used to them, because I've used them so much throughout That's the true. last few, several years, then... My audio what? I can audio take that. Can you guys hear me okay? My, my levels have dropped? John's battery, I think, went out. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, my it's out. Dead. It's completely dead. Holy crap. Wow, this is a smooth going show. At least it all started beforehand. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are hearing him through my mic, though. And I think we have this one active, the uh, boom mic above us. So you're hearing him, but he's, you're not going to hear him quite the right way. <laughs> yes, uh, RWITTE42. It is awesome to have you guys because you alert us to all the issues that we encounter before we even know about it sometimes. <laughs> hey, okay. I think it's working now. <laughs> Can you guys hear me again? What mics do we use? We use Sennheisers. These are Sennheisers. I believe it's called an EW... Or 100? E, EW100. EW100. Uh, Siri, we have some Series 2, some Series 3. Cannibal says, this is hilarious. You were the one asking if we were going to ever say anything interesting. Did you change your mind? <laughs> Monty's asking you a question. Oh, where? It looks like I forgot to plug everything in today. Yeah. Yeah. Has battery yet? I just changed my battery. Right, Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, yeah, before <laughs> we start, does anybody have to take a bio break? We did do that before we got started. That's Wait. the good news. No. What? No, I'm just joking. I was going to do the same thing. 
Okay. I know. I, I kind of saw your like. <laughs> Rock drummer. Hello, geek peeps of the geek persuasion. I saw it as I was doing it. Oh. It's like, oh, he's doing the same thing. Fneuron. How do you say that? I can't Where? pronounce F N E R R O N. F neuron. F neuron. I hope the lighting doesn't use batteries. <laughs> Thank too. goodness, no. I hope the cameras don't use batteries, and I hope the TriCaster doesn't use batteries. Oh, Dave's changing <laughs> batteries over there as well. Yeah, Robin's from Peter to play Paul. He can. I'm also only Robin getting one health to play. I'm also only. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Yes, my sound dropped again because. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Because Dave, I'm talking into your mic. <laughs> That's Dave a little is, awkward, John. Dave is uh, changing the batteries on the receiver now. Mine are working, but now he's changing on the receiver. Trigaster <laughs> runs on hamsters. Is it, is it ready yet? <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, uh, Trigaster, uh, real quick, I forgot to do this. Mark, can you please plug the boom mic into the red cable? Hey, guys, here's a serious question. We obviously haven't even started the show. We're just screwing around here. Would you rather would you rather that we get all this done and then go live so we're not wasting your time or is this fun for you cuz I mean I kind of yeah. have fun with it but you know You know I mean we 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 usually wait till we have everything worked out and we're ready pretty much uh, to go live but if you guys enjoy it we can Okay, this is fun. Nah, not a time waster at all. Gives all you a good right. reason to work early <laughs> or to leave work early. Good. Okay. Glad okay. we can uh, be of some some assistance. All right. Today, yeah, today, yeah. What we have no. Yeah. Luckily, we don't have a professional reputation to protect. Right. So, um, well, you don't. I certainly don't. All right. Are we ready? I have a very unprofessional reputation to protect, <laughs> and I think I have done an admirable job today, if I do say so myself. Right. Ready when you are. Except, <laughs> just joking. You think I can remember my two lines? No. <laughs> I only have two lines. Sometimes that's all it takes, John. I know. I only have two lines in the show today, folks, and they'll probably cut those two out. <laughs> What signal? Oh, okay. We just lost another signal. We just lost something else, folks. Every time we think we're going to go live, something is... Today is not our day. You know why? Today hasn't been the day at all. It's, you know all why? Day. You know why? Because today is literally not our day. Right. We're supposed <laughs> to be doing it on Friday. That is true. Today's Thursday. That, we're that like is, just completely off. Thursday is right out. Rock drummer says, "Okay, Linmix, come on in." I hate it when they tape out the Apple logo. It makes me think apples aren't good for you. <laughs> 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 they are Funny. not. We are warning you about. We're warning you about the dangers of yes. Apple. I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Mark. Go you get know what, lunch. guys? I think we're just gonna go get some <laughs> lunch, and we'll we'll be back in a while. Bacon break. <laughs> Matthew Lambert says you should be ready by 2 p.m. tomorrow then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> have, have either of us broken a mirror recently? Okay, you Quiet on the set, please. Quiet on the set. Wow. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Here it comes. We're about to blow your mind. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. A deeper look at the art of making blades. I am dreaming of a stig on every nightstand. Science that will make your steak last for three years. Okay, let's try that one more time. Oh. What happened? <laughs> I miscounted. Oh, okay. Oh. Oops. Um, I'm sorry, the, it, 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 it's my fault. You guys are going... Uh, Mulligan. Uh, So it's 
Yeah. Okay, I don't know what you just said, but okay. I understand we're what gonna you're saying, do it again. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. Take two. Fight on set. And in three, two. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. A deeper look at the art of making blades. I am dreaming of a stig on every nightstand. Science that'll make your steak last for three years. And a car, an electric car even, that will go a thousand miles. And a farmer who built a robot army. Welcome to Geek Beat Live. Welcome to Geek Beat Live, guys! Howdy, everybody. I almost opened up by saying it was a car that would go a thousand miles. Really? Yeah, I don't think that would have been very big big of news. No, that would kind of be taking us back in time. Though we can do that. We if, can go back in time. If a some... car would only go a thousand miles. Exactly. Like a Model T, maybe it would go a thousand miles. Did the Model and, T and... only go a thousand? Well, Before I don't. breaking apart, I, like model, on the highway? Well, Model Ts, they were pretty unreliable. Were there highways when there was a Model T? Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> So we have some pretty exciting stuff for you guys today. Um, before we get started, though, just so you guys know what we're doing here, this is Geek Beat Live. It is the sister show or the uh, off-brand of um, Geek Beat TV, which is a daily show, which you can get online at geekbeat.tv. And we do this live show every week. That's right. By the way, you guys should go and subscribe to the Geek Beat podcast. Just go to geekbeat.tv and look for the little subscribe button, and you will get to see Callie delivering you the short format of the news three times a week. She'll do it for about five minutes at a time and yeah. give you the highlights. And then each week we're going to come here on, uh, you know, at the end of the week, and we're going to do a longer wrap-up show where we have more time to discuss things. Yeah. And those of you watching on television, um, we sometimes bring in the chat room because we do this live online. So people um, in the chat rooms uh, who can participate, and that's what we love about this show is Absolutely. that it is all about you guys. It's all about the participation. So we love to bring in the, the guys from the chat room. For example, uh, Max Est is in the chat room. He's been talking this whole time. And uh, <laughs> and right now, our Bigelow says, Callie's telling the non-geek community why watching on cable TV <laughs> what's going on. Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> and all throughout the show, we're going to be talking about different links, different websites, and we're going to have some videos. You can find all of that stuff at geekbeat.tv slash live29. Live29. Exactly. So um, we are actually running a contest. So you want to explain the contest today? Today's contest, we're giving away a Drobo. So if you've never uh, experienced Drobos before, you can check out the show notes and we'll have some information on the Drobo there. But we've got a Twitter contest going on. If you're following me, at John Pose on Twitter, um, I tweeted about it. You can follow the directions there and win a Drobo. Awesome. Um, so this week I came through with a, uh, I, I found a story. It was all about the history of sword making. Ah, uh, yes. And I, I, I brought this up because it was really interesting to read through that. It talked about Damascus steel, and some of you may not even know that term. I didn't before I knew John, but you trained with a master bladesmith, and you're, you're actually certified and trained that way. So I was wondering if you could kind of give everyone kind of a, a look at what it takes to kind of make that stuff. Well, sure. Now, question number one is, did you keep the link for everybody so we can put it in the show notes? Absolutely. Okay, excellent. So yes, you're right. I didn't just study under one master bladesmith. I studied under four master bladesmiths. Wow. I am I am a proud member of the American Bladesmith Society. And I think our website is AmericanBladesmith.com or .org. Okay. And uh, basically, we learn how and we share and disseminate the knowledge about this ancient kind of lost art of blade making, bladesmithing, whether it's a sword, a knife, or whatever it is. So, you know, actually the history of, of, of bladesmithing is very um, interesting because yeah. it's it's... Is there's a lot of accidental discovery because they've been making these things for thousands of years before they even understood what they were made of. So yeah. trial and error. And, uh, you know, good Very stuff. Cool. Very so cool. So I look forward I, to reading just, that article myself. Exactly. You guys can check that out um, on the uh, live blog. That you can. So uh, when we come back, some useful apps. Uh, and the Stig has arrived <laughs> on yes, your bedside has. table. <laughs> 
hey, you guys can't talk when we, uh, when we uh, fade out like that. Uh, so we're at a commercial break right now. We're at a but break. but is our, our voice is still up, right? Yes. So okay. you guys can hear so, us. So we're on commercial break right now. We're going to come right back. Uh, so that yeah. was your. <laughs> I know it was mine, but you 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 uh, you rushed me, and it uh, I missed my. We were like there. what a minute over. Yes. It's okay. okay. I, we knew okay. we were a minute over. It's don't stress about being over on the segments. We have extra time. Okay, so no big deal. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Now so, we're going to come back from commercial break. Exactly. And then uh, it's going to be gadget time. So, but just a heads up, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just go ahead and pick back my, um, or, or you can do it, but there's a specific one down there, robots, that uh, is, that I should probably say. So um, you want to just. I'll do the, I'll do this throw it at uh, number 27. So you'll take mine? Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Let me just change it real quick. Guys, in the chat room, we're just uh, working our system here. We're modifying our run sheet. And now we're about to come back from <laughs> Flatworm break. Shake, if you pretend to show commercials, we can pretend to buy the products. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to come back from break. Exactly. I'll welcome us back. All right. Tell us when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, you're calling us, buddy. Commercial break's on right now. Correct. No, they don't. But you can tell us when to come back. You, you can, can tell like, us okay, to shut up. Okay, we're coming and back now in three, two, one. You're, you're, the, you're the floor director. You tell them to say quiet on the set. To shut up. We're coming back. <laughs> quiet on the set. We're coming back. <laughs> All right, and in three, two. Hey, everybody! Welcome back. Yes, uh, we have some awesome gadgets. We do. It is actually gadget time. And apps. We're going to talk about apps too. <laughs> We we love our apps and gadgets around here. Obviously, it's what uh, kind of everything is based upon. I should say we sometimes love gadgets and apps. Yeah, this sometimes not. This first one, I'm questioning. Okay. I'm really going to question this one. Well, so Jeff Bezos from Amazon, uh, the Jeff Bezos, right? Who has proven that he can come up with good ideas because we have Amazon. Exactly. He created a patent for this uh, damage avoidance system. It's a like for your iPhone or for your, ne not necessarily iPhone, but for your phone. It's an airbag for your iPhone. Yes. Yeah, so when it drops, it, the accelerometer and some other technology in it will understand that it is dropping and deploys these airbags on the phone. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look, they don't look like airbags. It look, You know what it looks like? It looks like poofs of air that would be like a hovercraft or something. Right. Like I think it's like kind of cool. Like your phone is going to hover craft. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. First of all, let me just say this. How, whatever additional componentry they're going to have to put into the actual it's, device. It's going to, to thick, make it thicker, of course. Thicker, heavier, more expensive. Why don't they just put in a heavier duty or heavy duty or case? Or you could just get a bubble wrap case. Or for you could. You could get a bubble wrap case. Yes, they have them. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what? If you can't afford to go and get a bubble wrap case, you could just make your own. Yes, you could. You could. You could just like tape some bubble wrap to it and make your own. Uh, Monty in the chat room pointed out that uh, well, what it what happens if the you know accelerometer? You're just moving your phone around real quickly. And it's gonna does it, it's does gonna it set off the airbag. And then you're like, Whoa! blow your hand <laughs> and right off. You're gonna drop you know, it. That's it's all fun and games till somebody loses a finger. <laughs> Anyway. Well, Amazon did something else that I think you'll like. Okay, tell okay. me about this so one. So everybody has been is coming back to school. It is that time of year. Um, they have this app that's for students only, or geared towards students at least. It's called the Amazon Student App. And uh, you can actually pr uh, do price checks on textbooks. You can add wish lists, things that you know that are coming up that you need. And that's not just textbooks. It's everything else. Um, you can also... Post your used games, textbooks, gadgets for trade-in. Well, that's cool. I mean, there's actually big money in back to school time. We know that because the ads take over everything and the newspapers, TV and everything yeah. else. So there's big money to be spent here and Amazon doesn't want to miss out. I think it's funny too, though, that, that uh, we're getting a major announcement from Amazon. We just got a major announcement from Facebook recently right. that they were doing something interesting with textbooks. They were, I guess, digitizing them and putting them 
on Facebook. It so, wasn't Facebook doing it. It's a, it's a company who is a third, oh, I thought, it's oh, a third that's right, party that's right. That's Facebook right. company. Yeah, so it's a, basically an app on Facebook. It's an app. So a third mm -hmm. party company made an app to yeah. digitize the books and put them on Facebook. So yep. what I wonder is... Are people actually going to use it? How about you guys, students? Any students that are watching right now, what would you rather do? Would you rather go on Amazon and buy books and then be able to sell them back to Amazon? Or would you rather kind of rent the books through Facebook knowing that you'd have to be connected online and, and using the Facebook yeah. app? I don't know. Per I, you know, personally, I would rather have a book. You know why? Why? Because I like buying the used ones where somebody else has already figured out all the problems but and I know, can cheat off of them. You're old. <laughs> I am a dinosaur. That is true. <laughs> you still have a pager, right? <laughs> yes, I still page people. So, uh, actually, I'm really, really, really excited about this particular app. It's from Google. Um, now, I'm not excited about it for my own personal use because I don't, I probably won't use it. But what it is, it's Google Catalogs. And it incorporates, it basically digitizes all your catalogs. So, um, any catalogs that you subscribe to, you could subscribe to on this and have them all digitized. That's cool and all, that's whatever. But there's one feature that I love, it's collages. And uh, the collages allow you to take pieces, products or pages or individual things and put them into a collage and Wait, kind from of multiple gather catalogs everything. even? Or from um, the same you know, catalog? They did not specify that. I, I think the ultimate goal is from different catalogs because you're really trying to create a collage. Well, you could kind of build your own little wish list that way and exactly. things like that too. So, I mean, I think this is cool, but I think it's cool for an entirely different reason. And uh, that is uh, not so much just from the green uh, perspective, although I do appreciate the fact that we won't have to cut down millions of trees, but I also want to keep these things out of my mailbox right. just because it's a pain. I don't want to have to go check the mail and there's five catalogs and I go in and I go, okay, trash, trash. I mean, that's what I, I'm, I am the trash Why don't man. you unsubscribe? I'm the trash. How do you unsubscribe from a catalog? You call them up. You say, don't send this to me anymore. I am way too lazy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like it mainly because I my sister is an event planner, eventmuse.biz, uh, in Portland, Oregon. See how it worked out? That was again? a nice plug right there. <laughs> I, I got to give you credit. Um, and uh, she does, you know, she deals with weddings and all sorts of events. Yep. And I know that brides constantly are trying to take these images and piece together their wedding, right? I could see this working so well for them. They read a lot of catalogs they and, do. and magazines. I mean, they carry around else. stacks of catalogs. Just to plan their wedding. The ladies do love those. So you anyway. know what the guys love? Top Gear. Top Gear. They love the Stig. Yeah. Okay. They if you do. guys have, I do too. I love the Stig. You, yeah, you got to admit, if you've never watched Top Gear, there's two versions of it. There's the original Top Gear over in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, which is a car driving show, and then there's also Top Gear America now, yes. which I gotta say, not quite as good, but yeah. I still like it. It just it's and also it's the brand magic new of the and personality. That's right. Really. But anyway, one of the cool things about the Top Gear show, and if you haven't seen it, go do a search on YouTube and watch some Top Gear episodes. But if you're if you're on YouTube, I mean, sorry, if you're if you're if you're a Top Gear fan, uh, they have a character called the Stig, who does all of their uh, time trials around the tracks. And now you can get a Stig projection alarm clock. That's Projection right. Alarm That's right. Clock. So the Stig will sit on your, uh, you know, nightstand and look all Stiggy. <laughs> uh, but then you can also open up his visor, and he's got a clock in his eyeballs. Oh, we don't get to see his face. And no, you, no one knows who the Stig is. Oh, he's the Stig. That's all you I need to see know. The stig. And some say he's a clock. But right now we have, uh, we've actually got some really cool bike innovations coming up a little bit later in the show. But first, I want to show you a giant do-it-yourself camera. How giant? When I say giant, uh, can we get the uh, image up here on the, this is how giant. Look at oh, this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. The, what this guy has done, um, his name, uh, let's see, what is this guy's name? I forgot his name now. Um, anyway, what he did was he built this huge five foot tall, six foot long, 70 pound wow. camera. 
and it has multiple lenses, two lenses that he's made. One of them is kind of a fixed lens that he has to do manual adjustment, uh, opening and closing the shutter, and the other one has a little shutter release. But it uses X-ray film to take pictures. Because it's cheaper, right? Well, not just because it's cheaper. He, he, I mean, clearly it was a lot of effort. It cost him $1,800 to build this thing. But you can see in that picture Whoa, he's holding it. Oh, that's gorgeous. The actual film is three feet wide and it captures resolutions you just can't get anywhere else. So he built that just for himself. So you could blow these pictures up and just make massive I think that images. he said that he could blow up one of these images to half the size of a volleyball court and still maintain resolution. <laughs> That's impressive. Very, very cool gadget. I've got something else cool. What do you have? Specifically, literally speaking, cool. cool. If you've got a bottle of wine uh, that you need to pull out for a party but you didn't think ahead, well, here is the corksicle. It's a gel tube you just stick in your wine bottle. So you open up the, the, the bottle of wine and it's 23 bucks. It looks, I think it looks awesome. Like It does look awesome. Either it actually, it's the photo, you know the what way it, they took the photo, or it's just a piece of art in itself. It actually looks like an icicle in the- It does, which is why it's called corksicle. They must have shaped the plastic. Um, they molded it in such a way that it then would look like, like that. And yeah, then you probably, ruffled. wait, do you fill it with water or does it have some kind of a gel in there? It's so a you, gel. So, so you, it's sealed, I, you, the whole thing is sealed. You put it in like the freezer and then you stick it in the bottle of wine, it'll chill it. So you don't have to pull out a, you know, tub with ice and wait for it and hopefully it gets cold enough. Absolutely. Or you could just go with red wine. Well, yeah, red I wine, mean, uh, you know. Well, anyway, you know what? <laughs> After the break, we're going to have more gadgety goodness. So stay tuned. Okay, we're out. Woohoo! We're off to commercial. You guys should still be able to hear us, but you got a black screen. Let's see, All let's right. see. Okay, so I'll pull this one. We need to adjust your, the lob on your shirt. Who, mine what, or hers? No, I'm, I think it's, uh, I think no, it's yours. Mine. I think it's yours. It keeps hitting something. It's, it's oh. Not, we're, getting, we're getting noise and garbage. I'm sorry, guys, in the chat room. Uh, Hang on, we're, yeah, no, we're adjusting exactly. Callie's microphone. They're saying, uh, Zig says, actually, all the audio is better now. Yeah, okay, no, but if we, oh, they switched the audio, so it wasn't coming from my lapel. Yeah. Cario says, if we get to hear you but see a black screen, Dave's in front of it. Who I can't sees see. the commercials? Oh. Karyos, the commercials are for cable television play. So this, this actually is live streamed to you guys and then it'll be played on television later. And so the commercials will actually be for that. Yeah, and so what will really happen once, we, once, we're, once we're doing this live on TV, when we go to commercial break, we won't take the screen and make it black. We'll, we'll leave it up and we'll, we'll just chat with you guys for like well, we, we a couple hope, minutes. Well, we hope there are some technical issues with that. Oh. But yeah. Oh, really? We because can't do that? Because then yeah. we're feeding uh, our we'll audio straight to... We'd have to turn off our stream to the broadcast. They they will. We have to rely on them to turn audio down on their end. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so that it's best if we cut our audio and wait for our cue. We're we're gonna work oh. on that. We're gonna try yeah. and make sure that we can still have you know conversations with you. But I don't know that that's gonna be technically possible. Yeah. But so, we'll see. We'll so see. We'll we're, see. We'll rely on before and after the show. I think. We're a little ways away from that. So. Yeah, we're, we're still a few weeks away. Scott's asking what's the time frame for TV broadcast. Just a few weeks. Just yep. a few weeks. But we can't tell you who yet. Yeah, but it'll be very, very soon. Will we be receiving any royalties from the cable TV commercials? Yes, we will. That is the answer to that question. We will. So that will be good. Um, it and is I not Revision 3. No, Revision 3 does not have a TV channel. This is a major national cable TV network. <laughs> and that is all that we can tell you we right now. We can't tell you anything else. It's a secret. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm dancing. Because I do, I dance on the show. Come on. What you want from me? I think we're good. Be quiet, woman. It's my turn to talk. <laughs> do I get to dance too? I'm dancing. No one wants to see you dance. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Matthew says audio just went weird again. Uh -oh. Audio just went weird on what? Is on, uh, YouTube, on YouTube. Can you guys hear us okay? Reporting. My audio went out again? You've got to be kidding me. Hello, testing. One, two. John, John, 
Uh, we, have, we have your audio here. Okay, okay. All right, everybody's saying it's fine now. All right, are we ready? Should I pull in? All right, on the set. Quiet on the set. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. We <laughs> Wait a minute, we got to do that over. Why? Because it was on my camera when you started welcoming oh. back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Be Live. I'm Callie Lewis. This is John P. <laughs> I am indeed. John, I'm so used to you saying, I'm Callie Lewis, and then waiting for me to say, I'm John P. I just wanted to say the name John P. Because John P. did this to our computers. I did. I defaced it. I, I have to bring it up. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, so because we're doing this on television now, uh, we have to cover up we de any logos of some certain company. Wait, you you have a logo on your shirt. There's the Marley logo. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe I shouldn't have worn this shirt. No, I think it's going to be Are okay. Are you going to X my shirt now? Ro Marley himself, per, he personally gave her that shirt. The only people that have these shirts are the people over at House of Marley, with the exception of Callie Lewis. Exactly. I love this shirt. I think they'll be happy and <laughs> proud to have you wearing that on TV. We promised you guys more gadgets and apps. So, um, I actually got information on a new multi-touch surface type table, conference room table. We've seen some things like this before, we but have. not at this scale. At first, I was like, oh, another multi-touch table. Where have we gotten into the world that we're like, oh, another multi-touch table? <laughs> right. I mean, come on. Like, year, a few years ago, we had nothing. Anyway, um, so this one is from Crunch Logistics. Crunchy Logistics. Um, That's a good name. Crunchy. The interesting thing about it is that it's plug and play with both Mac and PC. You just, you have a USB cable and an HDMI port. You plug it in, and it's going to display. It's going to act like a second monitor. It's going to display whatever you have on your computer. That so you can pull out PDFs. You can pull out CAD files. Wait, what you're telling me then is they're claiming that if we just, if I took my unnamed laptop here <laughs> and exactly. plugged it into that thing, it would become a touch user interface and I could mess with it all through touch? Yeah. On that gigantic table. Yeah, they don't present it like that you could interact with the OS, but in a clip on that sh on that video, I do see the OS, the, yeah, you the know dock. What? I think we've got the, we'll have the full video on the uh, show notes. Exactly. So if you go to geek, geekbeat.tv forward slash live twenty nine, you can see the full clip. I did re I do remember seeing somebody like touch up at the top where there was a drop down menu, like they were going to launch yeah, exactly, an app or something. Exactly. So I think it would work. And I asked about the resolution because I was thinking, okay, well, if I plug in a second monitor, resolution tends to work fine. Mm -hmm. But this thing is 65 inches. And it said it would go up to 150. Yeah, So exactly. it's got to be so, really high resolution or it's not worth it. Correct. Did so they tell you what they, it was? They said it was going to work just fine. They didn't but give they me But they didn't the tell exact, us the resolution. No. Okay. Well, it looked really clear in there and it's cool. Right. And what I think would also be cool if they could make a version of that that you could hang on a wall too. Because it's nice oh, to have a table, be. you know what I mean? So they're, people can sit around focused it. focused on marketing this to businesses so I, that, I know, for but, presentations. But well, yeah, 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 it would absolutely it, be. It, it's not as easy if I'm going to present to a room full of people to, to have them all sit around the table and some of them it's upside down for and some of them it'd be better if it was hanging on the wall. Exactly. You know, exactly. but it is very, very cool. Yeah. Now, this next one, I'm not sure I'm not sure how cool it is or not. I'm going to I really? I want to see what you guys think. It's cool sounding, it's just not cool looking. Take a look at this. Okay. Well, maybe it's not that cool looking, but I don't see what's wrong with the look of it at this, all. This, this is, is the frame of a of a new kind of bike. Right. It's called the round tail bike, okay? It's 2000 bucks. So, what do you get for that 2000 bucks? It's all about the shock waves. It's about avoiding the roughness in your in your uh, biking experience. So this was designed actually for uh, road bicycling, okay? Uh, Off-roaders, they tend to add all kinds of shocks to the front. Yeah. They'll put shocks on the back. What it does is it makes the bike really heavy, okay? Yeah. So they're trying to avoid that with road bikes and what they did was they 
they eliminated the single rear um, pole and instead put these two giant circular. It's not all about making it less or way less. It's about how the shocks. Well, I know, but what I'm saying is instead of the shock absorbers, which are very heavy on oh, off-road okay, bikes, okay. instead of putting those on a street bike, they put these circular, uh, uh, you know, components into mm -hmm. it, and they eliminate. They, they eliminate most of the bumps. It's about 1 60th yeah. of the vibration coming through. So, so the vibration tends to go in, you know, one straight line, right? Uh, well, with this, it, it absorbs that vibration, so it right. never really kind of gets to you. They claim that you can take a 50-mile 50, 50 ride on a bumpy road and receive about the same amount of beating that you would have otherwise yeah. had in two miles. So it could be that you know you you get on one of these frames and you're like, okay, this is worth it yeah, for whatever exactly, it looks like. But exactly. I don't really like the way they look. Well, maybe you don't like that, but maybe you like this: the Revo lights or Revo lights. I'm not really sure. The LED lights that get installed on the inside of a bicycle. I do like this. And this is actually we, pretty cool. Do we have a clip of this one? I thought we had a video, uh, a clip showing this one in action. But what happens is when those wheels start rolling, there are oh, here we go. Check this you, out. You you see them. So the white one is in front to light the biker's path. And the red one is in the back, just like a car light, to alert cars behind them that they're there. And it actually, because it's the size of the bike, it, it lets them, the cars know exactly how That's wide right. they are. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And... Uh, you know, the full video of that is available on the show notes as well. So exactly. go check that out. Exactly. Um, We're going to talk about how science can keep your steaks lasting longer right after this. I do like steak. Commercial break. Commercial break. We're off to commercial break. Hey, I do. We I didn't go too long on that, did we? No. no. That was good. I do really like those Revo light things, and I really don't like the round tail bike thing. Okay. I thought the round tail bike thing was kind of cool. We, we only had the one picture of it there, but the other version of that where you see it with the other thing on it, it was just rough. Yeah. Digital Phil says, I killed it. I crushed that segment. Wait, killed it isn't good or bad? I made that segment my bitch. <laughs> Wow, John P. I'm sorry. John I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm glad we're not during the segment because we couldn't use that that segment at all. Shooter DV says he doesn't understand the X's on the uh, laptop. Oh, okay. You must have just gotten here. So we're if you if you're ready to kill. Uh, okay. We we'll we'll, we'll we'll explain this and then we'll come back. All right. So we're just we're doing this because we're actually yeah. recording this for a uh, presentation on cable television, and you kind of have to do those kind of things. Yep. So we made a big joke out of it. We put big X's there because it's fun. If we have to black it okay. out, it's fun. Quiet on set. We're going live in five, four, three, two. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Be Live. Yes, it is. I cannot wait for robot time. You're going to have to wait for robot time. It is not robot time. It is science time. Okay, okay. And well, this first story is stuff. really actually pretty cool. It is. It is. Um, so meat, of course, we all know how long mm, that lasts in the meat. refrigerator. You have to buy it. You have to deal with it. You have to cook it. You have to do something with it. Or you have to freeze it, right? Yeah, and you know what? Frozen meat never sounds, never tastes as good no. as it did when it first came from the store. So not, not. I don't even freeze meat because of that. Yeah, I, it's I, just not worth it to me. I, I used to, we used to, we would look for steaks when they were on sale, and we'd buy like a bunch of them. We'd eat some and put some in the freezer. Yeah. And then I got to the point where when you defrost them, they don't taste as good. I just stopped altogether. So now I'd rather pay a little higher price to get it fresh when I want it. Yeah. Than have to get it frozen. Yeah, exactly. But I well, think you've discovered... I have discovered something. So just to kind of educate you, if you're not familiar with it, um, the meat does spoil like that because of bacteria like E. coli and lactobacillus. Lactobacillus. Sure, let's go with that. Um, <laughs> well, um, they've used this this thing called nicin um, to, to work against it. But it... So E. coli is... Um, gram positive or gram negative i'm sorry okay but the other kinds are gram negative so it only works on one 
And so it doesn't have a full effect. Oh, Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, I guess it's kind of, it's like, kind of uh, like it's kind of like how penicillin will work on some things and not on other things. Exactly. I guess. So, so whatever they've been trying to use. I'm not. I haven't gotten to Bisson yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I'm so, well, I'm sorry. I'm looking at. We we know what. Uh, yeah, we know. We know. So yeah. Okay. No, I mean she called it Bison earlier. Now she's calling. No, it I didn't no. call it Bison. I. I okay, guys. I'm thinking about me. Okay. Want to eat some Bison? Okay, guys. We just blew that so, segment. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to start over. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, hang on. We can pick up. We can pick up on a on a two shot with her saying uh, talking about. I don't know where we were to pick up from. I can. I we're can gonna start have to start in a, over. On, on Bison. No, we didn't even talk about Bison yet. I was I was gonna pick up there. Okay. I'll say Bud Bison, but they found it's not gonna it, it's okay. not gonna work right. You want to just pick? I up? think we need to start it over. Hey, but overlay, overlay. His, his there are two different hard. things, so just let us go next time. If we if we have to do that, just let us finish it, and then if we have to, let's reshoot it. But okay. yeah, because that throws me off. So right. we're gonna we're gonna come back from commercial. Trace, yes. We're glad you're back. We did miss you. <laughs> we missed you, Trace. So, guys, I'm sorry. We're gonna um, <laughs> we're gonna try and re reboot from coming back from the commercial yep. break. All right, are we ready? Quiet on set. I don't know what we said before. I I said robots. Okay, that's right. And five, four, three. Hey, guys! Welcome back to Geeky Live. Yes, welcome. I am excited. We have lots of robots to talk about. You are going to have to just table the robots because it is science time for now. Okay. And I am personally excited about this first story. <laughs> this first story is pretty darn cool. Because uh, it has to do with meat. And you love meat. I do love meat. Uh, I don't love vegetables. No, I do not he, love vegetables. Little known fact, guys. He will not eat vegetables. No, I will not. At eat all. No. I don't mean like he doesn't like them. He won't eat them. Anyway. So this is about meat. Um, as you guys know, meat spoils very easily and very quickly uh, because of bacteria, E. coli, something called lactobacillus, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I well, bet we have some biologists in the chat rooms. That I can, bet that can, we do. They'll, they'll who correct will, us. Who will? Uh, and Trace is uh, pointing out. Me. Trace is pointing out. I do eat crabs though. Oh yeah, mm, crabs I do are eat, good because crabs are meat. They are not vegetables. <laughs> right. I eat things that eat vegetables. Anyway, back to anyway, the lactobacillus. So back to the lactobacillus. Well, lactobacillus as a bacteria is gram positive. And what does that we're not mean? gonna get into that, but let me I'm just describing <laughs> okay, go ahead. what it is. And then E. coli is gram negative. Okay. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Does that mean it doesn't they, like graham crackers? No. Okay. I don't know what it means, okay. but it is. Um, so they tried to do something with nisin, with an N, N-I-S-I-N, uh, to avoid the spoilage. But because we're dealing with bacteria that are both positive and negative, it doesn't quite work out. But they found this thing that is actually in our own bodies that will work. In our gut? In our gut. It's called uh, bison or uh, it's B I S I N, and it is oh, you see how they did that? Found inside of us. You see how they did that, don't you? No, what? They took the Nissen and, and they, they changed, just changed it into it. Bison. I know. That's kind of weak, I scientists. <laughs> but it works on both gram positive and gram negative. Okay, so what? So, do you, what's the benefit? The benefit is that meat can last for up to three years, that, like by by incorporating this. Three. Years. That sounds just scary, right? Okay, I, I'm sorry, but I, I gotta tell you this. If I go down to Costco and I pick up a huge slab of beef and I stick it in the fridge, I'm not going to eat it one year later, much less two or but three years later. But what happens if if this becomes, you know, you wind up with a week old meat or then like two weeks old and then you're like, oh, I haven't eaten that. I can because it's safe. Yeah, well, you, you get you get further and further out, and everything is fine. If D everything is fine, right? D DM Campbell said Twinkies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Twinkies will last forever. I wonder well, if it makes if if it has any effect on the health benefits, but I, I don't know. I do. I not wouldn't know. think since we have it in our bodies. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, what we don't have in our bodies are bats. No, but we I don't. bet they're tasty. They are meaty. 
Uh, they don't have that much meat. Okay, they're not really they meaty. They can't be tasty. They're not really meaty, but they are homing pigeons, well, apparently. Well, so, so, yeah, um, Egyptian fruit bats have some homing skills that are through the roof. They will travel the same path every night to go feed on fruit trees. What a cute little guy that is. I know, is. he's adorable. Not really, he's going to bite you in the throat. I anyway, don't care. go ahead. He's adorable. So they'll do what? They'll take the same path? They'll take the same path. And so scientists were wondering why. Why is this that they go? They pass other fruit trees exactly the same to get to the same fruit tree that they want to go. Let me guess, they chipped them. Well, they, they actually did. They put <laughs> GPS units on them, uh, just really lightweight GPS units that would feed back information. And they found that they were doing this, and I'm not going to get into the whole story, but essentially they took all of these bats and moved them. They moved them away from their existing home. In the name of science. In the name of science, right? And then they released them. They released some from the regular, you know, uh, level of the of the oh, ground. Like a, okay, a and, cave or something? Exactly. And then they released some of them from a, like a... Deep within. Deep within some crater or something. Well, uh, the, the ones that were released in the crater couldn't find their way out. <laughs> So it oh, nice. turns out, but the ones who were released above could. Turns out that, you know, they work just like GPS units. They use triangulation to find their way around. Very nice. Which is kind of interesting. Well, speaking of finding our way around, when we get back, we're going to find our way in the robot section of the show, which she's Yay! been waiting for. That's okay. The explanation got, that was not that, easy to come by. We knew that when we were when we were starting that story, it was going to go. Uh, we I knew thought, it would take two I minutes instead it. of one. No, you know? well, I thought I could do it. It was all right. It was all right. It's all right. What did you guys think? Was it all right? Was it all right, was guys? Was it all right? Was the bat story do, okay? I shouldn't do that. I think the bat story. Quick was question: fine. How how are we doing overall? Thirty-six. We're at thirty-six already. What do you mean already? We're we're we've only got one. Well, to we were going to leave sections. seven. No, well, we were going to leave seven times for seven minutes for a robot. Actually, so we'll, we we'll kill. We should be fine. You want to kill the robot segment? No. No, we we're can't. fine. Oh yeah, with the teeth. Yeah. We're at thirty-six. We need. We have ten minutes left. Did you say we're at thirty-six? No, actually, we're at thirty-one. Oh, oh we're at thirty-one. We're at thirty-one. All right, we're oh, fine. Oh, okay, okay. We're fine, folks. Okay. We got plenty of time. And Matthew says, the bat story was fine. Awesome. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. All right, and in five, four, three. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. You know what? What? The time you've been waiting for all day. It is robot time. I love robots. <laughs> I can't express my love of robots, although those of you who know me know that I do. So I I've... keep telling you robots are going to destroy the world. Ugh, they're so cute. <laughs> Um, so I have, I have several for you. First up, swarm bots. Um, they have created these swarm bots and we're going to show you this video real quick to explain it. <laughs> or not, we're going to do a little bit of switching. Awesome is that? All I see is a whole collective of robots working together, and all I can imagine is them 
destroying humanity. No, it's so cool. Okay, these move way too slowly to actually accomplish anything of use. For but now they do. For now, <laughs> they are going to get there. But you know, the, the fact that they all work together and they communicate together, yeah, okay, I can see your point. But <laughs> I, I think it's pretty awesome. It is very cool. By the way, Karyos wants to know if we have ninja time and pirate time coming up. <gasps> No, but no, we should we add but those. But we, we should add those. To... Hey, if you have some ninja and, and pirate uh, stories for us, send them our way. Tips at geekbeat.tv. Always welcome. But you know what? It is farmer time. There's far, it's farmer, there's farmer and time. robot time. Farmer slash robot time. Yeah. Now, this one did not go together for me. What? Well, I mean, I don't typically think of, of farmers building robots. But in this no. case, we've got a Chinese farmer named... Wu Yulu. I'm glad you said the name. It's an awesome name, Wu Yulu. It sounds like it belongs on Star Trek. Exactly. Anyway, he has been building robots for, he's build, building for 30 years, and he's built 26 of them in that period of time. It's his own little robot army. Well, he considers these robots practically to be like his sons, he okay? He does. And he names them Wu number one, Wu number Although, two. Although, if they're his sons, shouldn't he give them like actual names? They just, no, it's kind of like George Foreman. You got George number one, George number two. Huh? George Foreman, all of his kids are all named George. No. All of his kids are named George. Are you serious? Absolutely. That's crazy. But back to Wu Yulu. You you, okay. Because he's George so, Foreman, he'll knock your head off if you don't like <laughs> okay, it. I, I have no problem with that, George. Okay. Um, so Wu actually, is he, he only has a high school education. He learned to build robots all by himself. And he, you know, goes through this process. They started out as big and clunky and didn't do much, but now they can do things like um, they can like n do calligraphy and they can Unbelievable. climb walls. Stuff. They climb can walls. climb walls. They can do all sorts of stuff, which is pretty awesome. We'll have the full video so you guys can watch it in the show exactly. notes. Geekbeat.tv forward slash live twenty nine. The sad part of this story is that Wu has spent about two-thirds of his monthly income obsessing over his robots. For and years. his family is starving, so he's having to sell them off. Yes, that, that is very sad. I hate to hear that. Um, because he's, Enough he's already. probably going to be just sad. Enough already. Enough already. Somebody else had enough already of celebrity gossip of certain people being talked about on the news, on every TV program that he watched. So, what did he do? He made, he, he's a total geek, and this is totally geeky, like uber geeky, but he created something out of an Arduino uh, that would kill the sound. It would actually mute the TV whenever this person's name was brought up. Do we have a clip? Okay, I'm going to have to say enough already to the discussion, but we right. can watch a little bit. What he's going to actually do on this video, he's going to walk us through building this device. Yes, and it, it's way it, too it's, long and way too much. It's but. very, very geeky. But what's the, the, the point of this story is he's essentially made this device so that it, it would have a... Uh, it would be able to read the closed captioning mm -hmm. that's associated with the broadcast, and when it sees, you know, the name of somebody mentioned that you want to delete, you know, you, you're you're kind of sick of Charlie Sheen and his tiger blood. Exactly. Then uh, when it sees that Charlie Sheen's coming up, it mutes it, and there you go. Yeah, it just pulls that from closed captioning. This is the the question I have: is because it pulls from closed captioning, every time I watch closed captioning, it is delayed. So you're, you're probably going to hear the name once, but then you won't hear it for until they don't hear it, until the system doesn't hear it for 30 seconds. And then if it does hear it, it extends another 30 seconds. So pretty cool, pretty geeky. I, I it's thought completely it was impractical, but totally. it is very fun. <laughs> but I'll tell you what is practical. What? And part of the robot time that I can dig. Okay. Bionic men. Well, of course. I mean, how can you not dig that? So, from Vanderbilt, uh, some, some people were working on prosthetic limbs, but not just prosthetic limbs, because prosthetic limbs have drag. Like, when you walk with them, they drag behind you like a full step, and so it's, it's very slow. 
um, that created this bionic leg, and it has it is the first device that has a powered knee and ankle joint, and they work in unison. Do do we have a video? Because I think there was there's a video that goes with it that shows the yeah, guy. Oh, here we, here we go. go. Here we go. Check this out. And it really lets amputees, you know, sit and Look, walk and stand. I want Look, you to imagine for a moment if he had long jeans on or something. You would not know. You would. You might well, I think mean, he has that, a little bit of a limp. Yeah, a little bit. But you know, people. Everybody has a different gait when they're walking. So sure. you, you know, he kind of you know walks a little differently. But you would not be able to tell that that was not his leg. Exactly. It's amazing. And, and it allow you know it allows people to to work on. Um, uh, on slopes, it, apparently with prosthetic limbs, it's extremely hard to do slopes. And I can imagine that. I, I've never had to do that, thank goodness, but I can imagine that that would be hard. Um, but this allows it because it's, you know, it's actually, um, it, it, it's robotic and it, it, it works itself. It, it can do that very easily. So very, very cool from Vanderbilt. Well, I'll tell you what else can go up and down slopes. Cars. Cars. It's car time. You love cars. You are a total car guy. This first story that we have is cool because not only does it have cars, it combines booze and cars. Booze? Like alcohol booze? Yeah, it's like two things that definitely go together, right? That. Alcohol and know. cars. I don't know anything about booze, so I don't know what right. you're talking about. <laughs> okay, well, actually what it is... <laughs> This first, this first story, this is an electric car from Germany that's technically called the Schluckspet. The what? The Schluckspet E. Can you say that three times fast? Schluckspet. Schluckspet. <laughs> okay, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I can't, but that what that means, it's slang for boozer or heavy drinker. And the nice. reason why, it's kind of a joke, right? Because it doesn't use hardly any gas or electricity, what it does is it's got 14 lithium cobalt battery packs that provide 23 kilowatt hours of battery charge. And that allows the car to run for tw at 28 miles per hour and they ran it on a track for 1,013 miles Which on is a, a single charge. The last record was only what was it? 623 miles. Wow, that's a huge difference. It's literally a 50% improvement. I mean, 600 wow. and something. It's more. It's like more than 50% further than the previous record, which is very cool. Now, the car has a very aerodynamic shape. It's a one-seater. It is completely impractical. There's no trunk. There's no nothing. It is a concept -y so kind of vehicle. So I can't vehicle. go to the grocery store with this? It's, it is definitely not a Chevy Volt. Okay. But... <laughs> It is showing you where we're going with this stuff, and uh, I'm excited. Yeah, it's that's pretty cool. I mean, it, yeah, it needs some work on its you know visual aspect and stuff like that. But I thought it looked cool. It does look cool, but it looks very undone. Yes, which it, it does. is. It is. Yeah. Um, the, but one thing I liked in the in the car space, well, it's not really car, but we can kind of in the vehicle wrap space. It around. Um, it's a DIY jet. So this jet was built um, by a guy. It's called the Subsonics Airplane. It was built on a budget. He does this over and over again. He builds things on a budget. Look at it. It's cute. It has these little legs. It's cute. It has a jet. I mean, a Yeah, freaking, but it's cute. It's got a, what is it? A 240 pounds of thrust Check built PBS okay. TJ100 jet engine. Okay, 240 pounds of thrust. We'll compare that. Well, I don't know, like a car. I mean, thrust doesn't exactly translate into horsepower, but, you know, a, a pretty powerful car would have, you know, 250 horsepower, and this is 240 pounds foot of, of thrust, or pounds of thrust. I don't really know what it translates. You know, <laughs> okay. we've got to have some but pilots. Cool. I'll bet, you know what, so one of our pilots, somebody tell us how much horsepower would 240 pounds of thrust translate cool, into. Yeah. But I will tell you this, 240 pounds of thrust in a vehicle, in a craft that's this small and lightweight, is enough to move it on down the road. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, he they took their first flight um, at 14 minutes. And then after that, over the next two days, uh, in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, I just wanted to do the story just so I could say Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oshkosh. Um, they, they kept doing it. They did like five more test flights. Well, this is typical. Um, so what happens is 
you, you know, when you've got an experimental aircraft, the first thing you do is, and you get an experimental pilot uh, who they do these things all the time, they hop in the plane and they just basically get it off the ground, make sure the wings aren't gonna fall off, okay? Right. You know, they take it really, really easy, do a series of maneuvers, come back and report okay. on how it went. And then what they do is they, they take subsequent flights and each time they get a little more aggressive and a little more aggressive so that they're they're not, you know, trying to learn everything about it at once. That makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And, and and safe. It is much safer that way. That is definitely the right. way to go. Well, when we come back, it is gonna be time for unboxing. Yay! Yay. Ah, okay. Great commercial guy. Sorry, oops, I think I just killed my mic. You just killed I your think, mic? I think I just made you guys upset with me. No, what? You're okay. Can you guys still hear us? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. No, I just, I, I touched the mic is what I meant. You're fine. So, oh. uh, how are we doing on time? We just write on, so we have five more minutes left? Essentially six? We, uh, you okay. know, we didn't get to answer the question. We didn't get to answer our own question quick enough, but Cario says one horsepower is about 22 pounds of thrust. Five is about 110. So are you telling me that jet engine only has about, t it only has maybe 12 or 13 horsepower? That's interesting. <laughs> okay, well, then we have to come back and say that. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's I mean, very interesting. It, we were talking about comparing it, if it's that kind of comparison. <laughs> and then, um, should we go ahead and have something on here to unbox? Okay, then I'll have to move this. Uh, I'll move this and do um, it. How do we deal with 4-3 if I move my... Okay. You Hang guys, on, guys. We're we're uh, we're chatting with folk here. So we lost uh, one of our guys today. He had to cut it out early since we got delayed and delayed and delayed. Um, but uh, since so, we got, since I delayed us, I wasn't gonna blame you. Okay. I wasn't gonna do that. Um, but we have. So we, we're just uh, letting uh, Risen Hopkins here know how to work the unboxing camera, that one that moves around as we unbox stuff. Mark Risen Hopkins. So he's gonna play camera. Do you feel man. like we're going to un uh, actually demo? it or not? If we get six, we're at 40, I'm sorry. Where are we 45. at right? Where are we at right now? 39. We're at 39 and we're, we can go between 42 and 46. It so if we go to 45, we're fine, right? It, that gives us six minutes. It, is, uh, is the demo on that one something really fast? Yep. Well, Apparently. Well, we time going up water. I mean, we have four little cups there, but I mean. Okay. Well, the other thing is, doesn't it have to be plugged? We have to plug it in for power, and then we have to turn it on, and we don't even know how to work it. Electricity. It's just CO2 tank. Oh, there's no electricity. No. Mark will walk us through. He's watched a YouTube video of how to do it. Okay. So if we get stuck, he's going to, it's on you. Why don't we bring the cups of water over here so John can just grab them? Well, okay, hang on, guys. We're setting up. We know. We know we one, one of these boxes because it has. We know what one of the boxes um, is. Yeah. I'll move it. Yeah, just set them over okay. there. I'm going to move my computer out of the way, and she's going to keep uh, her. Gonna keep Wait, I can't move mine okay. because mine is the one that we've got the Google well, uh, chat thingy going here. Set it, on the, set it on the set behind you. Here, okay, I can close mine. I just need the the run sheet. I need the run sheet. Okay, okay, hang on just a second, guys. Okay, hang I'm going to close mine then. Hold everything. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're unbox that. There's a main box, white box. You'll be able to tell what it is. Open that first. What I want to do is take out that bottle because while you guys are taking everything else out and putting it on a table, kind of explaining what it is, we can be filling the bottle up. Oh. Okay. Well, we just moved. I don't think that's enough water. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. That's fine. Then we'll when we open it, we'll give you whatever we need, and then you can take it it's away. Like a clear soda bottle. Just pull it out of that main box. You'll see it. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, all right, so we're going to move the, we're getting ready for the unboxing segment, folks, here. Are you here. familiar with the closing? Enough? No, I don't know what it's the closing really just, is. We're going to wrap up the favorite topics from today's show or something, um, because we have a minute for it, or given whatever his timing, if we're do, doing the demo and we just need to cut out, then that's it. And then we do our Thank standard you. stuff. Yeah, exactly. See you next week. Yep. Altoids. I do love me some Altoids. Yes, he does. These cinnamon ones only. Only cinnamon and only the smalls. I don't even like the cinnamon, the big normal cinnamon ones. So are, they're continuing to talk about the horsepower thing. Are you prepared to talk about that? or? Nice job, John. I know. 
We're about okay, to come let's back see, from commercial 240 break. 240 pounds of thrust per second. Oh, that's how oh. it's measured. Oh. Because a horse can move more than 22 foot pounds. I see. Horsepower is measurement of energy. A pound of thrust is measurement of force. So it doesn't actually compare directly. Hmm. I am comparing work units to force units. Miscalculation, we're at 38. Sorry. We're at 38? 38. We're at 38? 38 and change. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're ready to come back. All right, you ready? Are, are we going to talk about that? Yeah, we're going to come back so and talk about that. When we come, so you're going to intro? Well, you you intro. You okay. say welcome back. It's almost unboxing right, well, time, and then we're coming live in five, four, three. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. We are almost done. We have some unboxings for you. You know what? Before we get to the unboxings, I have to uh, uh, issue a correction. Because okay. Hey guys, can we cut and please come back? I forgot to pull the audio up. So we oh. Made that the, uh, God, we got to get a mixer that We're going to do it over again. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Mulligan. Okay. Mulligan. I bet you only get one of those. We only get one mulligan, but we didn't take a mulligan today, did yes, we? Yes, we did. Yeah, First we already one. did. Oh, well. First take. Yeah, that was all my fault. No okay. problemo. Quiet on the set. We're going to come back from commercials hang again. On. Hang on. Hang on. I'm ready. Silence. And in five, four, three, two. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am still John P. <laughs> Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. We're almost done, but we've cleared off the table. It's almost unboxing time. It is almost unboxing time. Okay. But before we get to unboxing, you know, before we took a break, I asked the chat room yes. about how many horsepower we were thrust about was. The jet. And I have been completely corrected. Okay. I have been told that I am comparing work units to force units, oh. and I should never have done that. Bad John. But even if, but but regardless of all that, it's about 240 pounds of thrust. It's about 12 horsepower. 12 horsepower. Even though I should have never made that comparison. Right. But, but it's about 12 it's a, horsepower. But it's about it's about 12, so which sounds much. really wimpy to me. Yeah, it does. And it we sounds could, wimpy to me, and I'm not a car person. If you guys were participating in the chat room, you would see just just how wrong I was. All right. Well, you guys on TV can participate in the chat room, live.geekbeat.tv. Uh, but right now we're going to do some It's unboxing time. Okay. So what do we got so, first? I don't know. You want the small one or small the big one? one? Let's small, do the small so, one okay, first. Small, we're going to warm up with the small one. You know, we talked about bubble wrap earlier. I wonder yes, if we I could, did. Could I make an iPhone case out of this? You could, actually. Okay. With just some duct tape, which I've got on the back of this computer here. Knife time. This unnamed computer. Don't do that at home, folks. Right. Be very careful with those knives. Okay, here That's we go. That's our PSA for today. <laughs> what is this? All right, this is from iFrogs. We've got a couple of things here. If I'll let you hold it up. So you, you know, a lot of people want to maybe on the plane or something want to share audio. This allows you to do that. This is not anything necessarily new, but it comes from iFrogs, it's and they have a couple split. of new things. Audio Y splitter. It's actually very small, so that's nice because it means that you could uh, you could easily pocket this little sucker. And I guess what you plug this into your computer or your iPhone, and then you yeah you, you just, both listen to the head exactly. headphones exactly. It just splits the sound. Okay, what else we got? Different headphones. I thought we were gonna get um, some some new headphones from iFrogs in today, but it looks like just the other package cables. came. So uh, these are just cables. This, this is, is frog green. Frog green. Gotta love frog green. So this this is just an auxiliary cable, I guess, for like hooking your iPod into your car or something like that, right? Exactly, Stereo. exactly. And what is that and one? And then they have the unique sync, which is basically just an Apple um, an Apple uh, charger. Uh, but if you you know want to not have the Apple charger, you want some cool little coloring going on here, you can it's do that. It's one meter. It says two point one amps. Why does that matter? I know that when you plug it in, maybe it's a little thicker, it charges a little better. So for those of you guys in the uh, chat rooms, can you look up a price for us on these? Anybody? Anyone? Yeah, Anyone? iFrogs. We've got the uh, splits cable, the aux cable, and the unique sync. I'm wondering what do those go for? Now the Timber Pro headphones is what I was thinking was going to be in this package, but, but we we'll, didn't get we'll, those get, yet. we'll get those later. Okay. And uh, those are actually some pretty cool headphones. You can look those up online as well. All Car right. Cario says, "Hey, we can't know everything." Yes, you can. You guys are on you the internet. You guys have Google. We can't do <laughs> Google at the moment, but we can open something really cool for you. That is you. a big box. Most of you guys have probably heard about this, and the only reason I'm talking about it beforehand is because it says. 
says it right big on the box. This is the Soda Stream. Go ahead and open this thing up. I wait. You said most people have heard of it. I haven't heard of it. You haven't? No, I have not. This allows you to make your own soda. Like Coke? Huh. Yeah, exactly. All sorts of different flavors. You can buy different flavors and sodas. Um, and so it just, it works without electricity. It just uses CO2, right? Interesting. And uh, we're gonna actually, I think we're gonna demo this for you. Oops. Oops, what'd you throw down? <laughs> I just threw something that had parts in it. Nice. Oh wait, look at this. What is this? Oh, this Black is- Black currant and pear that soda. That is the soda. Here is the home soda maker. All right. Let's uh, uh, and, uh, continue this process over here. Uh, let oh, we me have see. all sorts I of think... different types. We have cola. Can so we this make is some? Just, this is just regular cola. Let's can we make some it. right now? Let's do it. I want to make some right all now. All right. Do you, yeah, you, you guys think like we can make it? Mark, you think we can make it right now? Yeah, let's do it. Is it fa we can do this? Okay, let's see. Now, I get, I'll have to unbox quickly. I don't know if I need this. I think we need water. Water. Let's we need water. to fill this can with water. Can we get some water? Let's do it. All right, hand it over to Talina over there. There we go. Go get us some water, and here's, oh my god, oh, oh my this? god, you know what this is? This is a giant CO2 canister. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that is awesome. I just, I can imagine all kinds of horrible, horrible, don't cut yourself. Okay, I won't, don't try this at home, folks. Oh, well, there's another bottle, so I guess we could make two, two bottles of soda. We have all sorts of bottles of soda over here. And we have... Uh, this is the bottom of the machine? Yes, it looks like it. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, we have so much soda here, guys. This is ridiculous. Look what they gave us. And what is this? More soda, and I have more... Oh, this is a oh, sampler. A, a taste sampler. I'm gonna put this on the ground I don't here. know how this works. Does anybody here know how this works? Mark, do you know? Mark, Mark, Mark the man Mark's Zamora. gonna come over and help us demo this thing. I bet you I unscrew this green thing. What, right now? Right this it's a, second? It's a giant CO2 cylinder. You think I should? Should I? Let's not do that. I'm going to. Let's not do that, John. I, I was right. Look. I was right. It's a threaded thing. All and right. I bet you. I thought I was going to lose my face there. I bet you it goes in here. I bet you what here, you Brian, do. Come on in. Whoops. Is you screw this on here? No, yeah. And that's the top, actually. What you're holding is the top. I know. And Let then we'll set it in there, right? That's right. Okay. Okay. It's you know it's kind of oh, reminds so you, me you, of you do it upside down. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of um of like a butane Wait, which cylinder one did thing. You I chose cola. Okay, good. Cola's good. Cola okay. is good. Uh, okay, that snapped into place. So now and we I got, heard it snap. Oh wait, how much do you pour in there? It's supposed to be four capfuls, but I like to eyeball it. I'm Emerald Lagasse, John. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Bam. You can just do it. Bam. Bam. Now Stick what? Stick this puppy inside there. Okay. Do you uh -oh. screw it in? Uh oh, what? What's wrong? It's supposed to go all the you way in. You go up and screw it oh. in there. Screw oh, it in. Yeah. He's schooling me now. You must be Mario Batali. I'm Emerald. That's right. <laughs> I'm out of my game. Wait, who's Wait. the... Wait, who, who? it says important. Press firmly and quickly release. Repeat until loud buzz. <laughs> Three buzzes for over... For average fizz. Oh, for average fizz. Oh, can do I it. do it? Do can it. Can I do it? Go for it. Can you guys see this on the video? I'm going to hit the button and we're going to get a buzz. Do it. Oh my god! Oh, oh it's leaking! <laughs> Is it, did you not it said, it said to do it three times. Here we go. Time number two. two. Oh. All right, let's go, Buzz. <laughs> okay. And a third time. Time number three. Oh my god. <laughs> Those in the chat room who are watching want to know what this is called. This is called the Soda Stream. It is, and, uh, it is the Soda Stream. <laughs> so All right, so let's take, we can gonna, just undo it. Screw that. We're going to have to get glasses, okay? So, uh, but, <laughs> 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 oh, okay, well, that's our, that's the fun for, okay. that's the fun for Geek Beat TV oh, today. Oh, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> all right, I'm glad it tastes good. Here you go. <laughs> well, all right, we're gonna wrap this. You baby managed up. to get it on your face. <laughs> I saw that coming. I so saw that coming. I heard you you say something as it happened. I was about to say, wait. <laughs> anyway, folks, we'll let you know how it tastes. It yeah, looks well, like hey, it's gonna I, be fun. I told them it tastes great. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, join Thanks. us next week. You know what we're gonna do next week? What? Light something on fire. Awesome. Oh. What? oh. <laughs> Hang on, we can pick up.
He. Uh, Wait, we, we can't. We can't. He we jumped actually, the gun. Actually, you shouldn't say light something on fire because this isn't going to air like that. I'm still going to light something on fire. Okay. okay. All right. So, so. When did you hit the button? I, I was getting it cued. <laughs> <And> it jumped. <laughs> so just. So, hang on, hang on. Let me direct. All right. So, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut to a second camera, and John, you pick up right after light something on fire on my count. You already. You got the lighted on fire. I, Okay, I'm going to start with that. Yeah. Okay. You start off with, and you know what I'm going to do next week. Okay. In three, two. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do next week? What? Light something on fire. Awesome. Well, that's better. <laughs> Maybe I won't get drenched then. <laughs> All right, you guys, follow Callie Lewis on Twitter, at Callie Lewis. And on Google Plus, look for Callie Lewis. Absolutely. And he is on Twitter at John Pose, P O Z. And the same thing on Google Plus. John Pose Azidis is his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the After the Show Show. That's right. See ya. Bye. Rise that thing. Do not open the soda. I said, should but, I know, just now? Yeah, you did, I yeah but you said it as you were unscrewing no, it, no, okay? I actually, you are supposed I'm, to do that, but that first one was too much. Oh. It's just supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's all I did. And you know what? That's my fault. Anyway. I didn't teach you right, John. All right. That was our so first we didn't, experiment. We didn't get anything on here? That was no, fun. This was on top of it. How actually. was that Google Hangout, guys? <laughs> oh, they saw it in 3D, right? <laughs> that's right. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I gotta get back to where I can see you guys. All right, I'm un I'm unmuting I'm unmuting the Google chat. Did <laughs> you guys have to you guys have you guys to have like to uh mute yeah mute your microphone unless you're talking so we don't get the feedback. What's the little box down here? Oh, huh? I don't know what actually. Little, what, they they oh, didn't yeah, I don't tell know what us that. what I'm saving it for tomorrow's show. The box that I the the part that I dropped was probably the part that prevents it from exploding when you. <laughs> When you, when you open it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's Google Hangout. You want one? That's right. You got the soda. I don't worry. I'm not worried about it. It's all right. He did. He wiped it down a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Now we're sticky. We're all sticky. Oh, it is sticky. Oh, is it? Oh, is there some on the webcam? Hang on. Oh, no. These are these are things that they give us at least. When you dropped it, they broke, I think. So it's like getting everywhere. What is it? What is it? Oil essence for water, I guess. Oh, oh gosh. To make like fresh, flavored like to make water, flavored water. water. Yeah. Oh, I would have totally wanted that. Sparkling water? Yeah. Thanks, John. I didn't know. I Thanks. was. I was. In a, I tell you what, it's it smells delicious in here. And you're on a diet. And I'm not allowed to drink any of this. Please mute your mic if you're not talking. Yeah, if you guys aren't talking on the Google chat, uh, Google Hangout, mute, mute your mic there. You can mute other people, can't you? Only we had if you need to. I know. Awesome. I was. <laughs> I don't care about getting wet as long as it was good TV. Yeah, that was fun. Hey, the, the angle was perfect. It was, was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We could have planned it better. No, we did not plan that. <laughs> nobody's going to believe we didn't do that on purpose. I really want to taste that soda now. Okay. Do it. Hang on. I'm not opening well, it. I mean, you can open Hang it. On. There has to be a way. Hang wait, on. What's this? What's this? This looks like a release. No, one. that's not. Don't hit that button. <laughs> not again. Just wait. Too funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you do it again? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. When he said, when he said, stop when you hear a buzz. John's like, was that a buzz? Yeah. Did I hear a buzz? Was it buzzing? Oh, good. That's we need to vacuum or something. Yeah. There was glass on the yeah. No, I think it was, was it, were those glass balls? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. I'll, I'll pull that out. Okay, all right, here we Mark, go. Mark, uh, can you move out? I'm sorry. Just off. They're the just... after show camera. Yeah. I managed to unscrew it without right. it exploding again. Mark's so, going to taste it. Mark, well, the next you step, can shake it up. another step you afterwards. Can, oh, What's is the next supposed to go like this? Oh. And to oh. mix the flavor again? 
Because, you know, it's syrup. It settles at the bottom. Uh-huh. And then you're supposed to taste it. But I, probably that wasn't four caps. And anybody watching in the after show, this is the cap you're supposed to use. Uh, you were supposed to put four of those in there? I definitely did. You not totally did. No, you, you didn't even come close to four I'm of those in there. I thought it figures. So I thought it tasted right. And that's better for me. It was that's weak. That's better. It was, it was weak. weak soda. But hey, that's pretty cool. So, so I got to show you guys. We have We have cola free. I don't know if that means like diet cola. We have black currant and pear. We have cola which we now know. We have root beer. We have green tea, pomegranate peach, pink diet grapefruit. We also have um, my water flavor essence raspberry. Add a drop to sparkling water for a splash of flavor. Oh, and cool. and not ra- and orange too. I These like are the that. two that I didn't break. Is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> apparently, apparently when I was whipping all that stuff out, there was there were these little bottles were wrapped up in it. And when I uh, threw some on the ground, a couple of them busted. Nice. They, have done, they disguise some of the bottles as packing material. Yeah, the, some of the and bottles are disguised as packing material. We also have material. an energy drink. There's an energy drink. Ginger ale. Ooh. <laughs> Cranberry raspberry. Seriously, it's... And diet lemon lime. Seriously, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells delicious it in really here. It really does. I smell delicious. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Um, All right, a question. Yeah. Question of the day. Oh, yeah. Where is everybody? Where, where are, are you guys? guys physically? Where are you watching us from today? The great state of Oklahoma. 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 Just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Wait, oh, those are two different people. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was... Where, where was Washington. that? Seattle, Washington. Seattle. That's where Dave Peterson is. How about the rest of you Go guys ahead, in the Google in the Google chat? By the way, the first is Ray Bradbury's 91st birthday. Ray. Ray Bradbury's 91st. Yeah. Right, yeah, AJ's right down the street. <laughs> Look on the chat room here. Just a second. We got Westminster, Colorado, Michigan. Greek in Switzerland. Karios. What? Karios is a Greek in Switzerland. Oh, he's a Greek in Switzerland. Yasu. Uh, Dubuque, yeah, whatever of course. He said. Yeah, Bradenton, Florida, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Still. Bruce is still in Somerville, New Jersey. <laughs> Always. Plano. McKinney. Hamburg, Germany. We're going to Germany. We are. Callie, we have not announced it yet, actually. We're going to Berlin on when? We're, like, not this coming week, but the week after. The 30th through the, 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 30th some, the 4th through the or fourth. something. We're going to be there for IFA. So who so is in, who, who can go to a meetup? Is anybody available to in, do a meetup in, in Berlin? Berlin. <laughs> Tell them you're going to need a translator. DIY Manolis is in Greece. What, what, what did he say? What? Greece. Look, oh, Greece. Greece happens. <clears throat> Victoria, BC, Hermit. Where in Greece are you, DIY Manolis? Where, Athen- where in Greece? Athens. Oh, Athens. Okay, excellent. I have relatives in Athens still. Do you know how to read? I'm sorry I was still up above because we've also got Yekaterinburg, Russia. Wow. Mr. Mac- Mikhail, Mikhail, Mikhail Chi. C H E. It says Mikhail C H E. He must be a Chinese Russian. Right. He's a Chinese Russian. No. He's in. Is that. Did I say. How do you say it? Yekaterinburg? Yekaterinburg. That sounds good, actually. That sounds right. Bassingstoke, UK. Peach's property. Ukraine, ben Crimea. Has distant relatives in Berlin. Alex is in the Ukraine. Said settle H A H H. I think I come to Berlin. Does he? Does that mean uh, you could come to Berlin if we did a meetup? Which we will definitely do a meetup. We we're definitely gonna do a meetup in Berlin. I think it's gonna be the night that like Friday night, right? Probably probably Friday night. I think it's gonna be Friday night, the week of the thirtieth, the week of the 29th, thirtieth. Uh, live webcast from uh, Germany. Huh. Actually, if, no, well, so, if we can get if we can get on Wi-Fi there, we will indeed. Mikhail says his last name is Chernos. Wait, it moved right in the middle. At Chernos Kutov. Chernos Kutov. Nice. That's actually easier than Posazidis. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. We're glad you're enjoying the show there. First his, you take Manhattan, his, then you take Berlin. <laughs> well, we definitely try and have meetups anywhere we go, and uh, this is our first international trip for Geek Beat, uh, so it'll be should be fun. Um, Karios, uh, Berlin date the week of the thirtieth. 
Uh, it's that Friday night that we're looking at. Um, it's like it's like September thirtieth through or, no, I'm sorry, no, August thirtieth. So it's like through sep September fourth. I think it's September second. It is definitely September second. September second. Okay, that Friday, that Friday, right in there. So that's when we'll be there. <clears throat> so South Florida. South Florida. Sorry. Will do. To account for the date line. Yes, Tampere, Finland. Wow. I don't that is amazing. Here. You guys are awesome. We love having you guys join us. It is just really, really cool to like imagine that everybody is where you guys are. So many different places around the world. Yeah, and we're able to all you know sit here and chat with each other and all that. It's very yeah. cool. Karios is in New York until September 30th. Oh. I don't think we're going to get to New York before uh, the end of September. Unfortunately, we're gonna we're no. we, we are going. We actually have a layover there. <laughs> oh, we do. We're yeah. going to Berlin. Then we're going to come back for Berlin and we have to fly to LA because we're doing commercial spots mm -hmm. for the TV show. Right. Um, and then from there, we got to go straight out to Indianapolis. So for those of you who are, who are in that area, we're going to be in Indianapolis on September 7th through 10th. To, right. So the 9th, September 9th will be the Indianapolis meetup. Meet yeah. <coughs> so if you're in Indy, meet up on uh, September 9th. Yep. So Half a state away from Monty. From Monty. Uh, um, anyway, are San we Marcos, doing a, Texas. Uh, San Marcos. I didn't know digital I love that. in San Marcos. I love How San Marcos. How far away is that from here? San Marcos is about six hours, maybe. San I mean, Marcos, it's San it's Marcos. the other side of Houston, right? No, no wait, Marcos no, I'm sorry. It's the other. It's Austin. The other side of Austin. Austin. The other side of Austin. It's about two and a half, three hours to Austin. About another forty-five minutes. To San Marcos. Yeah, four, five, four, five hours to San Marcos, where they've got all the. Uh, thank you, Po. Thank you, Digital Phil. I did nail today's show, didn't I? It felt good. <gasps> you did good, John. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I did terrible, but you did perfect. Uh, you did awesome. Um, you guys both did a great job. Thank you guys. Uh, wait, no, I was going to respond to somebody. Um, are we doing a local meetup here in Dallas anytime soon? Our Bigelow says we both did good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, our Bigelow. Um, we should do I another. Feel weird saying your name. Is we that your real last name? Like Deuce Bigelow? Yeah, exactly. I, I feel love like it. I'm saying the name of the I movie. love Bigelow. Um, <laughs> Isn't Friday like every, every Friday's a yeah, kind of every Friday yeah. is kind of a meetup locally. Oh, there's still fluid under the table, okay? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you're always you welcome come, to come to the studio if you, you want to. You can come watch it live. But, well, we, sh but we should also well, do another meetup. We should do a meetup. Yeah, we'll worry about this later. Guys, we need to record our promo spots. Yeah, I know. Oh, we'll do that. And, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. We're gonna yeah, have you to, can take we'll it We'll have off. to shut it off first. There's a box. Yeah, why don't you put it all in the break room, Norm? Good. Everyone, yeah, Norm. The great Norm. Norm is anything but. Norm is in the house. Hey, I anything like that. Norm is anything but. <laughs> oh, no. sorry. Norm, norm, norm for exactly. president. Yeah. You norm know is what? Norm the soda king? That's Norm the soda. Norm is the everything king. Norm breaks himself. Here's what I want to know. And I Who, build myself back up. If we, if we throw Norm in the race for president of the United States, who will vote for Norm? I will. Hey, Michelle Bachman will vote for him. See? Yeah, you've got some votes already, Norm. You've already got at least two votes. Congratulations. You have to be a natural born citizen. I was naturally born, but you, not here. Uh oh, uh oh. You were People, watch out. People want watch giveaways. Out the camera. Camera. People want giveaways. I was People want giveaways. Born. Mark Zamora for not president. Here. Oh, oh, yes, they this do. This is showdown. Norm wants a free Drobo. Norm for Secretary of State. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll for my <laughs> <laughs> one drobo, one vote. Every man knows his price, and uh, you've definitely known Yeah, his. you don't have to be naturally born in order to be Secretary of State, right? That I don't. So Mark could be the uh, president, president right. and Norm could be Secretary of State. What to do. As you be the, the power behind the That's right, you could be the power I behind the I would take party. Party. You'll be my Hillary Yes, the Geek my Beat Party, party. that's it. On my desk. I think we should do it. I think we should the have the Geek Beat party. party. <laughs> Just start a new party. That would be awesome. You know what? Your shirt is actually dry enough that, that we, we can do our, do our promos. promos. So here's the deal, guys. Um, so there are certain promos that we have to record off live. We cannot do them, and we cannot show you guys what we're doing because it's, it's secret information. But now when, in a few weeks, once, the, once everything is announced, then we can do everything. Yeah, then you'll be able to see everything. But until it's announced, we can't. So we're going to have to cut this off. And <laughs> Cario says, no, wait, sorry, oh, guys. Sorry, Cario. So, we, we, oh, wait, gonna... do you not pronounce the S? Yeah. You just say Cario. 
No, I, I said asking. S. Okay, I, said, I thought maybe I it was said, a Greek thing. Anyway, um, uh, it, it, it will take us like half an hour to do these, unfortunately. So we, it's, and then after that, we've got to go and, and do other junk. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap Wait. it up. But here's the good news. Well, if, it may be good news to you if you enjoyed this. If you didn't, it won't be. What are you doing? <laughs> Great. He's too loud over there. Just Point too the loud. Point the camera at it. Point the camera at it. Point the camera at it. Too late. Away. Norm's I'm sorry, gone. I already did it. Um, <laughs> I was just taping his mouth. She taped his mouth shut. Anyway, um, the good news is we will actually be back tomorrow. Yes. We are not, we're not doing the live show today because we're not doing it tomorrow. We're doing it today because we needed to get some other extras exactly. done. And so... Because we're going out of town. That's right. So we actually will be back tomorrow. So okay? join us for the regular time at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, tomorrow, Friday. By our Bigelow, you got to race to the bus stop. Hey, can you guys answer one quick question? Yeah. Yes, what's the question? Sure. Absolutely. Um, is this going to be like a satellite broadcast cable channel that uh, everybody will see, or is it local to the Dallas Fort Worth? No, it's, it's national. It's, um, it's national. To, yeah, it's yeah. it's national, but it's not. It's national, but it um, it won't it won't initially. It's the network that we're on. It's not necessarily in every single market everywhere, but it is on. It's, basic, it, it's on. It's on like. A, a, I don't know. Is it on Dish Network? It, a lot of it. Uh, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not there. It's going to be on How Time Warner. Uh, let's see, Time Warner, Comcast, Verizon, AT and T, uh, and a few of the other ones. I can't remember. But it's also, even if you're on Time Warner, I I don't think, and I think this is the case with every TV show everywhere. E even if it's on Time Warner, that doesn't guarantee it's on Time Warner in your it's market. Clear. So it's hard to say, um, and I wish we could tell you guys exactly what it is already, but very soon, like within the next two weeks, I think uh, we'll be able to tell you, and then, then you guys can just check and see if it's on at your local area. Yep. So. And if not, then, you know. As they say, check right, local thanks, listings. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, no problem. Check your local listings. <laughs> Do you know All right. how long till an air date? Uh, the first air date is going to be, I believe. Do you know what the air date is? Yeah, I believe it's going to be September. 19th. Yeah, nineteenth. September nineteenth will be the first air date. Okay. Uh, Monty's saying before we end up race. leaving. What? What's what? Oh, what will Monty? it will it air before we end up leaving? What do you oh. mean? Or like for out of town? No. Yeah, no. It's it's going to. It's going to be in September. Yeah, be in end of in mid to, mid to end of September. All right, we got to get it going. Thank you guys so much. We really, really always enjoy hanging out with you. We will uh, chat with you next tomorrow. Have a good day and have fun. Right, later, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya. Can you scoot back over? Scoot your chair over. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had it right. You're almost there. All right, you're good there. John, can you get on? Uh, I need to go. Uh, just, okay. I'll be right back. We're not on the street. Do you have it? Yeah, let me go turn the stream off. <clears throat> can I just say the segment <laughs> and it's all because of you suggesting that we do a, lim a demo you two got nothing <laughs> i didn't see anything exploding hey do you have uh do you have the text for the promos um yeah i actually have, am missing one so i'm just going to write that or two real, write that real quick do, do, you, do you know what we're going to hit Highlight. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, how do you protect your phone? Okay, beautiful. How do you protect your phone? Wrap it in bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> what rolls downstairs? The horn repairs? 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 The horn Oh, sorry. <laughs> God, you know, it's those freaking overlays that kept screwing me up. Yeah, I know, you gotta get used to that, but it's alright. Now, you only missed the one, like, officially that we went on with. Oh, uh, I missed, yeah, yeah, one that I officially messed up on. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Is that Talina? Yeah. Oh, bye! Don't drink that Coke, John. <laughs> How does it taste? We put up. It's good. Yeah.
Where do you guys want if to you put it up? Fonta and RC. Um, nothing just yet. We'll do it. We'll do it after we do these things, I guess. That was hilarious, though. We okay. couldn't have planned that the better. The footage looks great. Does it? it That's good. We couldn't have planned that, John. Yeah. Yeah, it could, that could not have gone better. On, I was on Callie's camera because uh -huh. there was a good angle uh -huh. and with Mark like that, and it just. <laughs> it's awesome. And the look on your face is crazy. So, what we need to do is not before it airs, but we're going to need to clip that yeah, out and, and, post it and on just YouTube. post that on YouTube. Definitely. A, a clip or just a still of it blowing up in your No, no a the, clip the whole, so that we get those views. That whole, sec that whole segment needs to be HD Slow down. on YouTube. And when we do the review on the blog post, embed that. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Brilliant. And it we works. can say, no, this is why you should always read the directions first. And unpack <laughs> gently. Yes, and unpack <laughs> gently. Oh, you know? Yeah. That was hilarious. All right, so while you're each doing your little spots, uh, I would like the other one to move out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So we have a nice, clean, open shot. I'm not sure. Uh, I wrote them. Do you remember how to do this? Oh, okay. I wrote them. You wrote them? Where? You can you can go off, but in fame spots. There, I'm, I'm doing one, the last one right now, but if you go up. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do the first one? Mm -hmm. You can do all yours and then we'll record mine, right? Am I off? No, I'm not off. Like, okay. you want me clearer out? No, just you just need to be a little bit out of his way. So your nose isn't creeping in. Oh, okay, okay. You know how that pesky nose can be. Yeah. People were complaining about that. I tried, I, I, I tried to pay attention to when you were on his so that I could, like, come out of it, but... Meanwhile, on yours, John keeps leaning in. Are we still on? Doing this, cracking his knuckles. And we're still, in. their YouTube is saying we're still on. Pose, can I see you? It's 5.22 p.m. Yes, I can see you, Digital Phil. I guess they are still streaming. I guess they are for just a minute. Yeah, you're about to be killed now.